Okay, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial where I'll be teaching you how to make somebody bold. And yeah, this is the before, and this is the after effect of somebody who's bold, of Liam Payne to be exact, before and after. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Okay, so we'll open our image. This is Liam Payne, I think, from um, One Direction. And usually this effect's easier with people that has big foreheads. You know, I'll show you why in a while. So what we're going to do for us is open the, the elliptical marquee tool and select as the forehead as much as you can right now. Mm. No. You know what? Let's deprecate this and let's rotate it a little bit. Okay. So yeah. We've selected his forehead. Now we put layer via copy, and we make a copy of his forehead. Now we don't need this one, so we delete it. Okay. So, let's move this layer a little bit on top. Control T to rotate, and we let's rotate it a little bit. Okay. So. Why we do this? Because it matches the skin tone of his skin. If we did it with other types of skin, like using other types of skin and using it on him, it wouldn't work as much as using his own skin. So that's why we're using it. And also the light is in the same direction, so it will look more real. So yeah. Now that it's rotated, we click this one and make it a little bit more oval -y shape. Okay. 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 Perfect. So now we're going to do is, you know, all this hair that's right here. We're going to click the background and click the clone SAM tool. And just clone whatever's in the background. This is easy because the background is like, what do you want to do? Like, like, of background. So now we can use a brush tool and click Alt and sample the color right here and just like paint over it. You can sample again and what that's what we're gonna have right now. Okay. This is what we have right now. So let's click the layer click the make a layer mask or brush and make it black yep so let's paint around here and here too And, I don't know, I think his head is not that overly. So we can like edit that. Just click the, the layer, not the layer mask, the layer, and click Control T. And just click the warp tool again. There we go. Look, it looks a little bit more real. So yeah, the important part is like, the important thing is have a good picture. You need a good picture. Okay. I think I messed up something right here, like that. We can use the clone stamp tool. There we go. Okay. So it looks real, but not totally real still. Click the, the layer mask tool, the second layer, 
and hover the black. Oops. If you make a mistake, you can always click white. <sighs> Yeah. Hmm. It looks real to me, but not entirely. So what we're gonna do is duplicate this background and merge these two. Okay, so now that we've merged, we have this one. And what we're gonna do is use the smudge tool. And we're gonna make the resending hairs a little bit more resending. Just make it subtle, nothing too much. Oh fuck. Okay. So yeah, this is how you create somebody with a full set of hair to somebody with resending really resending hairline or completely bald yeah i hope you enjoy this tutorial and watch my other tutorials on how to do other types of stuff so yeah see you to the next time